Happening today, at least 300 sea turtles expected to be released back to their homes after being rescued from cold waters all during the big freeze. This morning, our Sunrise reporter Victoria Baldarama live in Puerto Aransas with more on what will take place today. Victoria, good morning to you. Good morning, Paul. And last Monday, we reported around 200 turtles that washed ashore due to the cold weather. But as of today, there are 1,200 turtles and some are being kept here in the auditorium. But with me right now, we, uh, you know, we got some information about these turtles that we see behind us. So if you want to tell us, uh, you know, what, when these turtles were, um, you know, saved, how long they've been here, um, you know, whatever you think. Yeah, so uh, we started getting turtles in when the water temperatures just dropped, whenever that cold front came in. And so Monday, we started getting them in slowly. Over the first uh, couple of days, we're getting a couple hundred each day. And then all of a sudden, we started getting, uh, well, now up to 1,200. Uh, all of these are green sea turtles. Uh, so 99.9% .9 of them that we've received have been green. The other was a loggerhead. And uh, today is a special day because we're planning on uh, actually being able to release some of these back into the Gulf of Mexico. And, you know, in this room specifically, wh what is it going to be like today? Which ones are going to go out first? Um, and I know there are some out in um, the ARC pools, correct? Exactly. So we have about six to seven hundred here in the auditorium. These are what we call dry dock and, you know, sea turtles are made to be in the ocean. Right. So we want to get these out first. These are our priority. And then we have about three to four hundred that are actually at the ark in the water. And so we'll try to get those out tomorrow or later on in the week. OK. And, you know, tell us about the experience of saving so many turtles. Well, I mean, this is why we do this job, you know, is uh, saving the animals. And, you know, when something like this happens, where we have historic low water temperatures, air temperatures, uh, it can devastate some of the animals that aren't used to that type of thing. And so, really, if we weren't doing this, you'd see a huge decline in the population of sea turtles. So this is, this is we want to thank all the volunteers and everything that have come together to really save this species. Awesome. And these turtles are planned to be released today. We will be keeping you updated for now. Live in Puerto Rans is Victoria Valderrama, Chris Six Sunrise. Way to wake up this morning, Victoria. Thank you so much.